um, born in the Swansea Valleys in a place called Cladach. Um, background of my family, both from um, agricultural areas. My father originally from Rhander and my mother originally from closer to here in a place called Abagorlech. And, you know, moved as the years go by with my father's job, multiple schools, um, but also ha always having links back to my sort of Welsh homelands, really. So do you come back? Came back. Um, from, from where did you come back from? Um, I spent most of my uh, childhood um, in various areas of Wales and England, but went to university eventually in Cardiff, in a way choosing Cardiff because I wanted to have my Welsh heritage um, applauded and recognised. Um, but then did go away to London to train as a psychiatrist, stayed in London as a psychiatrist until about 98, and then a decision really made, again wanting my children to have a Welsh heritage, bringing my very English husband um, back to, to West Wales, and I worked very much in the community as a psychiatrist here in West Wales until really about 18 months ago. And I still work in an advisory capacity to Welsh Government. Unfortunately, um, living in a rural area is no protection against having learning disabilities, having conditions like autism, um, and indeed developing serious mental illness. And sometimes there's a perception that that living in a rural environment protects you. But unfortunately, the, there are still the consequences of, of living and life events happen to people in rural environments just as they do in cities. Yes, I, I feel very happy in, in my personal life. I feel very happy. Um, and indeed in the communities that I and my family have developed. But I think there are also issues um, that some of the models developed for services and indeed the evidence base for, for good practice, for interventions, sometimes is constructed in an urban environment. And it's sometimes the challenge to convert them and develop the evidence base for um, supporting and implementing treatment strategies for people living in rural environments is sad, sometimes sadly lacking. There isn't, I, I don't think there is a still a loneliness. I think perhaps... Um, it's harder now to people perceive there is a loneliness and they perceive there isn't a sort of a joy of, of solitude um, and of, of, of living alone and it was really quite interesting in um, since I've become more part-time more retired I've actually tapped into in some ways wider and wider communities of people and appreciating a whole group of people who've actually um, come to live in this part of Wales because they actually value um, the celebration of solitude and, and more solitary lifestyles. Um, and, you know, that's been a real joy, I think, really. It does, it does, because it, by their nature, people who possibly move in and really applaud and value this, sol this concept of solitude and being able to live in nature may not be people who would um, necessarily wish to support um, more, if you like, traditional or more I suppose previous century patterns of congregated living. Yes, I think there's, there's um, I and mean, it's not just because of the people moving in. I mean, our own children and the current generations view um, their interactions to be very much on a more um, digitalised and indeed a much smaller community, even though there's a perception that you may have thousands of followers, when actual social networks are really sometimes very small and when actual intimate um, groups are incredibly small. Um, and you may not have multiple circles of friends, which perhaps one had before. Um, I can give you examples of, you know, even though I lived away a lot of the time because due to my father's work, he was a railwayman, so any promotion, he had to move. So we were always moving into new communities. But, for example, I would come back to this area because I had farming families back here. You would have different groupings of people, even though I may only come to something like Mudvai or Llandaila once a year. I would still have a groupings of friendships that I could pick up, or acquaintances, perhaps a truer term, but there'd be that sense of that belonging. I don't think the same holds true now, because there aren't the ready-made communities applauded all the time. And, and in some ways we have, a, I suppose, a small replication of it, like this, like the walking group I'm going to join now, where in some sense there's a sense of place that we come here by about one o'clock on a Thursday. And you know, it isn't necessarily very well organised, but you know there will be... Com people with similar views to, to wish to do. But that's a very small way. We won't be meeting people in the local village who know us particularly mm -hmm. because people aren't around.